at the flick of a switch. In the laboratory, we have reproduced every aspect of the God experience, every essence, every component of it, from the rising sensation to the feelings of ecstasy, to the feelings of a sensed presence, to the feelings that you're at one with the universe. We can do that experimentally. Professor Persinger has gone straight to the source of creativity, emotion, and fantasy by stimulating this area, the temporal lobes and the limbic system, with complex magnetic fields that set up electrical charges in the brain. In our presence, one subject had a near-death experience. A sudden wave of darkness. It's a distant point of light. No two people have responded in exactly the same way. But all of them come out of this chamber with a profound sense that something hugely significant has taken place. It's a sound chamber that doesn't allow anything from the outside to come inside. And I start hearing voices. I start seeing things. It started with faces. There was a lot of faces, but distorted faces, m moving kind of almost like seeing something through heat. I felt a presence behind me, like kind of staring down at me, and it seemed very strange. This presence was act it wasn't it wasn't frightening at all. It was very comforting, actually. It was like dreaming, but I was awake. Just like when you have a dream, sometimes you wake up and your dreams are just so, it was so real. I saw bright lights and I heard voices. Was that God speaking? What, or was that Professor Persinger just flipping a few switches? What we have found is that individuals who show a temporal lobe sensitivity or creativity and who are very religious, in that setting, they will have a religious experience. We can generate the sensed presence, which is defined as God.